whenever you talk about the major change in the society, in the economy, of course it will have to be connected with the change of the market. Prices do not reflect the right costs on the market today. Some of the production factors like capital are more rewarded than the others. So in essence, we are dealing with a lot of market failures, which we have to address. Our business leaders, CEOs, are rewarded basically on a yearly or even on a quarterly accounts. It's giving wrong signals on the market. There are various parts of the world which has understood that message better and faster than the others. Why? Because they have been more exposed. Japan is one of those areas. In Japan, already in the year 2000, they have proposed first legislative proposals. So today, 98% uh, of the metals are basically returned back to the cycle. In Germany, in the recent years, they have started very seriously with the uh, resource efficiency policy. In China, the 12th five-year plan was already including the issues which are connected to the circular economics. It's uh, very important that those things are not done ad hoc, that they are basically addressed in a systemic way, so that uh, we prepare uh, properly uh, and in a holistic way the market incentives and uh, price questions, cost questions, subsidies questions, public procurement questions, all those are really, really important, serious public policies through which you can give a proper signal that an economy moves into the right direction. Whenever we talk about the outlook of the policies in the circular economy, I think it's important to understand that each and every policy actor will have to contribute. Having a kind of agreement on the global level, having a level playing field created, it's really important because this is removing the possibility of anybody that it would say, why us, why not the others? Going then to, to, for example, European Union level, here you have to handle part of the policies which could be dealt on that level, for example, waste policy or definition of the product policy. But some of the policies cannot be dealt also on that level. They should be dealt uh, on the national basis uh, level, for example, tax policies or education policies. And finally, the real implementation, of course, happens uh, then in the cities and in the local levels. Governments create framework conditions, but at the end of the day, the change has to be done through economic activity, which is providing us with the life which we have, and that is business sector. And that's why the partnership between the business sector and the, uh, the policy makers is here extremely important. It's really important that those lock-ins which are currently hampering us from moving to a new stage of the development are properly addressed. In too many cases, we protect the unprotectable from the development perspective. One of the typical examples of the lock-ins is, for example, uh, investments which were done in the past in the waste incineration. So today we have few countries in the European Union who are practically not landfilling anymore. They have high level of incineration, which is actually energy recovery from waste. All those countries today have a bit of problem of introducing higher level of recyclability. And that's a typical case of a lock-in where something you have invested in the past, it's not allowing you, because the interests are connected with that, that you would really do the necessary change uh, uh, which is uh, advisable. Lock-ins which are connected with the infrastructure existing, lock-ins which are connected with business models, lock-ins which are connected with financial financing models. In all the systems, we are basically not properly addressing the need for a change. Obviously, the circular economy is not only protecting the environment, it's also a serious business case. Understanding that the existing business model is unsustainable, but not only from an environmental point of view, from the pure economic point of view, it's extremely important. If you take that into account, you are opening new investment opportunities, you are opening new innovation potentials, and that's where the business leaders and business is the best.
sooner you see that opportunity, earlier you are on the market. And of course, those who are the first comers in the market are always rewarded. So be the voice of the change.